Hello and welcome back to Ultima 7, the Black Gate and Forge of Virtue. So, we are on New Magentia, and we are uh, exploring the island. We heard about some people who were shipwrecked. Did one of them... Did I just miss somebody that was up here? Mayhaps. Maybe it was just the dog. I thought I saw somebody walk by. Anyways, we'll go back and check that out if we do miss them. Let's see what's in here. Third time's a charm. Okay, doesn't look like we can get in there. Okay, moving on. Uh, two paths. Let's stay on the main path. Oh, this looks nice. Ah, I wonder if this is where our three shipwreck shipwrecked strangers have been sleeping. Oh, nice collection of rocks. Ooh, that other path went. Let's stay on the main path for now. Ooh! Hello. You see a content-looking bearded man with deep-set laugh lines in his face and gentle eyes. Name? My name is Sam. I am the Flower Man. And what is thy name? Uh, Lugan. It is nice to meet thee. Uh, job? The way I perceive it, I do not really have a job. I sell flowers to the people of New Magentia. Although I am paid for it, it is something I enjoy doing very much. I wonder, does that still qualify as a job? He scratches his chin thoughtfully. Tell me about New Magentia. I was not born here. I came here as a young man. My father was a nobleman who was more interested in my counting gold than devoting myself to my studies. For a time I traveled the world until I landed here. It's a special place unlike any other in all of Britannia. So while thou art here, please help us take good care of it. <laughs> flowers? I grow all of the flowers that I sell in a greenhouse, which is also mine home. I sell a lot of red roses, but I have many varieties. If thou art interested in buying some, please say so. Uh, no thanks. Tell me about your greenhouse. I built my greenhouse by hand. When I am not selling flowers, I am engaged in various studies of plants and nature there. I find it fascinating. As thou mayest have noticed, I prefer to grow them big. Studies? Uh, no. What do you mean by big? It is because of what I learn in my studies that I may grow my flowers to be so large and healthy. And what exactly are your studies? Presently, I'm studying possible uses and applications of wheatgrass. One day soon, I shall begin compiling my notes, but it will require a long effort, for there is much that I have learned. It is mostly to support my work that I operate my flower wagon. Wagon? Actually, my business does quite well, and I do like the way my flowers brighten the whole area, the whole place. But who really cares about business anyway? So why shouldst thou ask? Suffice it to say that life is sweet. Life. Thou hast enough money as long as thou dost have a place to live and can afford food, so I consider myself a wealthy man. I enjoy a good drink and round of song at the modest damsel nightly. I have a thriving business and stimulating work. I consider every resident of this island a good friend. I feel anger towards no one, and I do not desire anything more. Okay, we get it. I have never had reason to feel lonely, worried, or bored. What else is there? Life is good. I'm very happy for you, man. 
Uh, what do you know about this locket situation? Yes, I saw Henry walking past my shop with that locket looking for Constance. It must have been shortly after he received it from Katrina. I remember it because I gave him a flower to give to Constance. Poor fellow, by the time he found her, it was all he had to give her. Yeah, which brings me to the strangers. What do you know about them? There are three strangers on this island that have washed ashore in a shipwreck. Perhaps thou shalt meet them. Oh, well, that's not very useful. Uh, okay. Well, thanks, Sam the Flower Man. Enjoy thy life, friend. All right. Anything not nice in here, Sam? Uh, some books to read. What's this? Test tubes. Jar. Jar. Okay. Empty flasks. Light source. What you got? Stealing the Wind by Brianna. Kite building techniques thou hast never seen before, from the simple box kite to the mind numbing crisscross butterfly. Each kite is presented in several forms from beginning to end. At the end of the essay is a listing of wind variables and flying styles. I feel like I might have read that before. Trend 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 17. This autobiography penned by the obtuse mage reveals Tren's life in all of his incarnations as he continually strove to possess more powerful beings. When Starts the Adventure by Sabra Herein can be found a novel relating to re relating the travels of a fledgling warrior struggling to gain skill and respect in a treacherous world. As the warrior gains experience in dealing with opposition, he begins to notice how well the land is balanced in ideology. For every evil, there seems to be a good, and vice versa. The Transitive Vampire by Karen Elizabeth Gordon this richly detailed tome is a handbook of grammar for the innocent, the eager, and the doomed. Ooh, sounds like a fun read. Uh, all right, and these are all just flowers. I have pretty flowers. Thanks, Sam. Anything further south? No. Uh, okay, well, I think that's everybody except the stranger. Locked chest, eh? Uh, let's move it. Yeah, I know, guys. But, if we unlock it and it explodes, then you'll be happy we moved it. At least I will. We better get some more lockpicks soon. Hey! Dishes! Alright! Good thing we moved it. Uh, this takes us to ooh okay we got the moon gate so the moon gates uh, I'll probably we'll probably never use these uh, and I don't think we've talked about what they do but basically there's a, a moon gate um, on I think all of the major near all of the major cities in Britain and certainly in other locations as well and the way they're supposed to be functioning is that we go through is that there's uh, you can travel from one to another uh, in a controlled way but they're not functioning correctly so if you go through the moon gate here or anywhere for that matter uh, it'll just spit you out at a random location which isn't necessarily the worst thing once you get to a certain point, you can always cast help to get back to Britain. Um, but not a very reliable means of transportation. Did we go in here? I don't remember. We better try again. I think people live here and they have keys. Oh, no, I was wrong. Oh, maybe we did in previous episode and they're locked and empty. Uh, Alright, let's check the inn, which I think is this way. Yeah. Oh, didn't we go down here? We did. Ah! These look like strangers. <coughs> Excuse me. You see a young man balancing a dagger on the tip of his finger. He tries hard to ignore you. Name. I am level. 
job. Along with Battles, I am a bodyguard for Master Robin. If not for him, I would have landed in prison instead of in Numagentia. What do you think of Numagentia? Peasant fools and sheep. The only thing worth a second look in this whole town is Constance. Oh, yeah? She doth put a spring in a man's step. We have our eye on her, we do. Level quickly clears his throat and he looks away from you momentarily. Fools and sheep. Here, here, what is... What is not one is the other. This place is so isolated that it is backward. What is worse, they prefer it this way. Why would you have been in prison? Yes, I've done things to be put in prison for, but I'm not ashamed of my life. I, I do not have to be held accountable to thee about it. I wasn't really asking you to. Uh, tell me about Master Robin. He's a gambler by profession who earns his winnings at the House of Games tables on Buccaneer's Den. Soon we shall return, and the money will pour like sweet wine once again, eh, Level? I can't remember what I decided to call him in the last episode, but obviously I've deci I I've gone with Level here. Uh, what do you th tell me about Buccaneer's Den? We ran into some misfortune the last time we were there. The mister at the House of Games learned, the learned of Master Robin's system and caused him to lose much of his gold. What sort of system? He had devised a clever method of cheating at all the various games at the House of Chance. It had earned him several times his weight in gold coins, I'm certain. The Mister? When Master Robin could not pay his debts, the Mister sent his leg breaker, Syntag, and his knaves after us. We had to leave on the first ship out of Buccaneer's Den. I, don't, I, don't, I do not know why he's called the Mister. Me neither. Uh, oh yeah? Your ship, eh? The ship we sailed on sank, leaving us stranded here. We were lucky to make it to New Magentia with our lives. Stranded. If thou wouldst have some way of getting us back to Buccaneer's Den, Master Robin would reward thee handsomely. Your ship sank. The crew would not believe it. The vessel was almost new. It had sailed all the way from Minoc without a problem. In fact, that was the first storm that ship had ever encountered. None of the crew survived, poor buggers. Yeah, that's Owen for you. Uh, Syntag. Tell me about him. Battles and myself are more than capable of taking care of Syntag. Yeah, thou art bloody right we could have handled him. We could have slid him up like sheep. Slid him like a sheep. Har! But Gordy hired a troop of ruffians to chase after us. Tis a pity. I would have liked to teach him a lesson or two. In fact, one day I think I shall. Profession. Gambling is what Robin does for money. But he spends so much time talking about Lord British that thou wouldst think he was royalty or something. Suddenly, Level gets an embarrassed look on his face and stops talking. Enough about that, Level. And tell me about battles. He has an eye like a hawk and is quicker than a cat. T'would be wise of thee to pay him respect. Ha ha! Thou art too correct, Level. Respect? And while thou art, thou art about it, thou mayst show respect to me, too, Level says with a sneer. I've seen battles as reflexes faster than a snake. And I. If battles had not spotted that approaching storm, we would have all been dead men for certain. Storm. You got a lot to say here, Level. It took a terrible toll on our boat, but if truth be told, I've seen far worse. Strangers. I do not know what thou art talking about, because you're the strangers. And what of the locket? While I myself have seen no such locket, perhaps thou should ask Master Robin about it. Bye. With that, level goes back to playing with his dagger. Okay, that was one. The man before you examines you with shifty eyes. He has slightly crouched postures, if constantly poised to strike out at the world around him. Name. Battles, myself. I'll, I'd be a stranger to Numagentia. Job. I'd be a hired bodyguard for Master Robin, as is me partner level. They, the pay me good. The pay be good. Level. He's a ladies' man, he is, but do not be thinking again on handle yourself in a fight. Twould be your last mistake. I could hear, I could near out wrestle thee, old dog. Ha 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 ha! Fight. Just the practice level has had in fending off jealous husbands. Twould make any man a master combatant. Ladies' man. Why I reckon level has broken near as many arts as I have made as I've made stop beaten. So many. Robin. Robin be a high-stakes gambling gent who makes his living in a casino at Buccaneer's Den. 
a living that would not have been anything near as profitable if not for thy good work battles. Thank you, my lord. Casino. The casino in Buccaneer's Den is called the House of Games, and it mo and it's the most fabulous place I've ever seen in my life. I shall never forget the first time Robin took me there. He walked away with a hundred gold pieces for less than an hour's work. Gambling gent. Gambling is how Robin makes his living. I do not think he has had a regular post in all of his life. Why, I thank thee for the compliment battles. Numagentia. We be looking to get off this boring rock, Numagentia, and back to Buccaneer's Den. If you have a way to get us there and away from these peasant knaves, Master Robin shall pay you well. Peasant knaves? The people here are so lacking in education that they never even heard of gambling before. Never heard of gambling! That's what, that's what life is all about. But <laughs> this boring rock. Canst thou imagine spending thine entire life here with nothing happening day after day after day? Tis enough to drive a man mad. Strangers. Strangers? Thou must mean us, Paddle snorts loudly. Yeah, you figured it out. And what of the locket? I saw a locket just like the one you be describing in the possession of Master Robin. Last time I saw it was... Let's see. It was right before the three of us went drinking at the Modest Damsel. Okay, bye. Be seeing ya. Be seeing ye. You see a roguish man dressed in what appears to be some nobleman's ratty hand-me-downs. Name. My name, my lord, is Robin. A pleasure to meet thee. I have come to New Bajincia only recently. Job. My father, a well-respected nobleman whose name I will not defame by mentioning, bastardized and disowned me, but he did teach me mine occupation. And your occupation is gambling? Why, that most glamorous and respected of occupations, my lord, winning at games of chance. What do you think of Numagentia? I'm not from here. My colleagues and I had to quickly leave Buccaneer's Den after a dispute with the casino owner. And a rough voyage it was, too. Voyage? We took the first ship out, but before we got back to the mainland, it had sunk. The three of us barely managed to make it to Numagentia with our lives. Now we are marooned here. Marooned? That is right. We cannot afford this stinking ship sold by the shipwright. But say, thou mayst have gotten here in some must have gotten here in some manner. Dost thou have some manner of ship on which we could leave the island? No. If thou shouldst come across a way of this I off this island, please permit us to leave with thee. Dispute? I won a vulgar amount of the casino's gold, at, and the mister of the place, Gordy, accused me of, accused me of cheating. He sent his leg-breaker, Syntag, after us. Pirates do not like to lose. The, tell me about the mister. Do not ask me why he's called that. Everyone there calls him that, though. Buccaneer's Den. It is where we live most of the year. There are a lot of rough characters there, and it is not a place to be seen carrying large amounts of money. Rough characters? One rough character in particular to stay away from is a man called Hook. Ha ha! Hook! He would kill thee for a trifle. Thou canst tell him tell him by the hook he has for a hand. What do you know of Hook? I know nothing more. Oh. That's disappointing. If thou thinkest that I would willingly cross paths with the likes of him, thou must have me mistaken for someone else. Insight check. Tell one of your colleagues. My friends are battles and level. Their job is to protect me and my winnings. In exchange, they share in my profits. Level. I rescued him from a gaggle of angry noble noblemen's daughters who, who had just discovered he was courting all of them simultaneously. If not for me, he would have certainly perished. But I am ahead of, thy, of myself. Battles. I rescued him from his captain who was about to make him walk the plank. I diced with that captain for the lad's life. Later, Battles had a mutiny that took the ship, and, well, that is another story. What of the strangers? I do not know of any. I only just arrived here myself. <laughs> Finally, the locket. We are trying to return to Buccaneer's Den. I was hoping to sell a gold locket which came into my possession to buy our passage back, but I fear it is lost. If thou dost come across it, be sure to let me know. You lost it. I don't believe you. Uh, all right, well, that's it. Bye. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, my lord. 
Okay, so one of them said that they had it before they were drinking here. So let's talk to the innkeeper again. Oh, Boris, right. Hello again, says Boris. Uh, lock it. You tell Boris what you'd heard from the pirate battles. He breaks into a cold sweat. Thou hast seen through my deception. I shall hand it over to thee. He opens a secret panel from behind the bar and looks inside. When he looks back to you, his face has lost all color. The locket is gone! I swear to thee, I know not what it is. Strangers. Yeah, we read that already. Uh, interesting. I actually don't remember where it is either. <laughs> uh, Alright, see if anybody else has anything to say. Greetings, and how may I be of service to thee? Asks Robin. Locket. Okay, I think I know. Let's try the ladies' man. Level balances his dagger on his fingertip. In a blur of motion, he snatches it out of the air, pointing it at you. He stares you in the eye. Do you have the locket levels? Level? No. All right. Did we read this? We did. Uh, and I think there is still one person that we haven't found yet. Let's do another search of the island before we wrap for this episode. Oh, we have spoken to you. Magenta smiles. Uh, locket. You see the locket Henry described to you hanging around Magenta's neck. Is it not beautiful? I found it in the secret hiding place behind mine husband's bar. Ah, found. I would never have suspected anything so romantic from Boris. The locket must be a surprise for me. Surprise. I am flattered Boris would buy me such an obviously expensive gift, but how could he ever have afforded it? I know how. Uh, well, he stole it. Although Magenta struggles to retain her dignity, she cannot hide her disappointment. As mayor, I charge thee with the task of locating the rightful owner of this locket and returning it to them. Here it is. Take it. Sorry. Romantic? Well, I did think he was going to give it to me to make up for all the times I have caught him wenching and carousing. Carousing. Say, dost thou think that Boris could have meant to give this locket to someone else? No. Magenta sighs with relief. I am glad thou hast said this. Now I shall feel no guilt about keeping it. Well, you're not keeping it. I have it. Uh, let's make sure I have it. I do. No, that's my watch. That's the locket. All right. Let's find Henry, and I th think there's somebody else. Uh, well, uh, let's go to the top and work our way down. Locked. Anybody in here? No, there's someone. Henry greets you. It is good to speak with you again, my lord. Uh, actually, again, I want to see experience points. 1812. Hey! Oh. There we go. Found it. Thou hast found the locket! You hand the locket to Henry. Now I may give it to Constance and keep my promise to her. I cannot thank thee enough, Avatar. Bye. Travel safe and be well. 25 experience points. Okay, and I'm pretty sure... Oh. Uh, there's Constance. Locket found. You told Constance of how you've returned the locket that has been stolen from Henry. Oh, how could I ever have doubted my dear darling Henry? She frowns. I thank thee for telling me the truth. Did we get anything for that? We did not. Is there not one more? Um, okay. Well, that's uh, that's all that there is, as far as I know, anyways, to actually resolve on New Magentia for now. So um, we'll end things here and pick up again next time. Uh, probably heading towards Scarabray. See you then.